Welcome to another episode of Rep's Timber Tutorials. This video is a continuation of one that I uh, previously posted. This is part two of a video that I posted just a couple days ago. So once again, we've got a Tiger Cat LX830C uh, working in a stand of timber that was previously harvested about seven years ago. Another aspect I'll point out about a feller buncher, it's a two-part process. There's the felling aspect, hence the term feller, and then the bunching aspect, hence buncher. So you get the two words feller buncher. You can see that he's cutting these trees and then he's laying them in bunches or in piles, which will then make it easier for the skidder to come along and grab these piles, these bunches, and skid them to the landing. Another thing that you witness is a lot of these trees are a little on the larger side so you'll have to make cuts on the front side and once again go to the back side and make the final cut to actually fall the tree, cut the tree and fall it down. Another aspect that I'll point out about the Tiger Cat LX830 is that there's no counterbalance uh, like a traditional excavator where it, ha where it has a counterbalance that sticks out. Um, quite a bit on the back end of the machine. This one does not have that. And so when this machine is working in real tight spaces, when he spins around, spins to the left or to the right, he doesn't have to worry about the back end of the machine hitting standing trees or stumps. So it's, it's a real good purpose-built machine for the woods, and especially when you're in tight situations. As I mentioned earlier, you can see this is a great example right here. There's two different piles that he's working on and this will make it real easy for the skater to come and grab three or four or five of these tree lengths at a time and then skid them to the landing. This tree right here presented a little bit of a challenge. He's gonna attempt to fall this tree and he obviously he wants to push it straight forward. But it's, it's just a really big tree and things go sideways literally on him. Uh, not what he had in mind, but he'll be able to fix this and turn that tree in the right direction. And just a reminder, the, the hot saw, the head on the front of this machine, we call it the hot, hot saw, that is a 23 inch meaning it can handle 23 inch trees with ease. This tree here is obviously bigger than that and that's why he's having to go and cut, make cuts on the front side of the tree and then it goes to the back side and finishes the cut and actually falls the tree. So it's not ideal to make multiple cuts on a tree. For this machine to really shine, you just want to be able to make one cut and fall trees. That's where it gets its best production.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit like, follow, and share with a few friends if you would, please. And we'll see you next time.